Good morning, class. It's Mrs. Lawson. I'm so glad that you're here today. We are going to be learning about sharing in math class today. When we share, it's kind to make sure that everyone has the same amount for it to be fair. And we're going to be looking at sharing a number of different things today. The first one that we're going to look at sharing is jelly beans. Do you like jelly beans? I would share my jelly beans if you were here with me. And so I have four different bowls and we are going to divide our jelly beans into four different bowls. I'm going to give you a closer look. Here is a closer look at my bowls and my jelly beans. I have 28 jelly beans and I have four bowls. I'm going to share my jelly beans with four friends. I'm going to share them with Levi and Tenna and Savannah and Mirabelle. Let's see how many of the jelly beans each of my friends will receive. I'm going to start off by putting one jelly bean in each bowl wall. Everybody gets one. Are they going to have more? They will. I'm going to get some more. Now how many does everyone have? They have two. I think I'm going to give everybody two at a time this time. Now everybody has four, but there are still more jelly beans. I'm going to give everybody two more. And I still have four jelly beans left. One, two, three, four. I've shared my jelly beans evenly. Let's see how many jelly beans each friend would receive. We're going to look inside of Savannah's bowl. How many jelly beans did Savannah get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Savannah got seven jelly beans. All of our friends received seven jelly beans because we divided them fairly. We were sharing. When you have 28 jelly beans and you share them with four friends, each friend will get seven jelly beans. Hmm. Let's try this again, but this time we're going to take away one bowl and we're just going to share with three friends. This time, I'm going to divide the 28 jelly beans into three bowls. I think I'm going to share with Liam and with Grace and with Rylan. I'm going to start off giving everybody four jelly beans. I'm going to put four in each bowl. Oops! I gave Rylan five by accident. All right, everyone has four, but we still have more left. So this time I'm going to put three in each bowl, making sure that it's nice and fair because when we share, we need to put the same number in everybody's bowl. I'm going to put two in this bowl and two in this one and two in that bowl. Oh, I have one left over. Hmm. I won't be able to share that one evenly. Let's see how many jelly beans each person received. We're going to look in Ryland's bowl. Can you count the jelly beans? 
Rylan has nine jelly beans. All of our friends got nine jelly beans. And then there was one jelly bean left over. Mm, maybe that one's for me. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at what I have now. I have chocolate Easter eggs. I'm going to share these Easter eggs with four friends. I have 12 Easter eggs. How many Easter eggs do you think everyone will get? Let's see. I'm going to share these with four friends. I'm going to share them with Isabella and Miles and Rowan and Jude. How many eggs do you think Isabella, Miles, Rowan, and Jude will receive? Let's see. They each have two. Is there enough for each of them to receive one more? There is. When we have 12 eggs and we share them with four friends, each friend receives three eggs. We're going to do more sharing with our yummy Easter eggs. We're going to share it with three friends. I've turned my bowls over so that you can see the eggs on top. Our three friends that we're going to share with are Katie, Clover, and Vivian. I wonder how many eggs Katie, Clover, and Vivian will receive if I have 12 eggs. Let's see. I'm going to start off by giving each of them one egg, but I still have more eggs left over. Now they're all going to get another egg. So they all have two eggs, but there's still more eggs in my bowl. I'm going to give each girl another egg. How many eggs do they have now? They each have three, but I still have more in my bowl. And I can still give each girl another egg. Hmm. When I had 12 eggs, each of my three friends were able to get four eggs. Hmm. I'm going to take all my eggs back. What would happen if I put this bowl away and I only had two friends that I was sharing the 12 eggs with? Hmm. I'm going to share this time with Grace and Kylie. I'm going to start off by giving each girl one egg, two, three, four, but there's still more in here. Do you want to guess? If I have 12 eggs and I share them between two friends, how many eggs will they each receive? They can each get five, but I still have two more in here. So each girl received six eggs. Dividing is like sharing. We take a number and we share it evenly into groups. Today, I was sharing some fun Easter candy with my friends. Are you good at sharing? It's hard sometimes. It's kind to share, and God's Word tells us that we should be kind. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. I hope that you practice sharing at home today. You can practice sharing with some toys, or with some candy, or with any objects that you have at home. I'd like for you to take a number of objects and see if you can divide them or share them evenly into two groups or three groups. Have a wonderful time sharing today. I missed you class. Bye-bye.